with the royals royally peeved at the palace this morning. Will and Kate feeling violated and now feeling litigious, suing that French magazine that ran those topless shots of the Duchess. This, as another magazine, is set to publish the pictures this morning. And ABC's Rena Nynan is in London covering the story. Rena, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Dan. You know, none of the British newspapers chose to run any of those images, but the headline in today's Daily Mirror pretty much sums up Prince William's feelings. I won't let Kate suffer like my mother. Will and Kate this morning touring the rainforest of Borneo, while half a world away, those topless photos gone global. An Italian magazine says it purchased and will publish more photos next week. The palace now striking back and striking fast. Stay there. Launching legal proceedings against a French tabloid magazine that published the topless photos of Kate sunbathing on a private balcony. ABC News has decided not to show those images. The editor of the magazine suggested there are more photos to come. Photos, she says, were too personal to run. Friday was Kate's first public appearance at a mosque, so similar to Princess Diana in Egypt back in 1992. But it's this similarity a furious Prince William doesn't want repeated. ABC's Bob Woodruff is traveling with the royal couple. Now, so far, there's no public indication of exactly how William and Kate feel. But as they continue on this tour, what we know for sure is that their blood is just boiling. A similar reaction in London. Disgraceful, really. The poor girl will be afraid to take her socks off anywhere she goes now. And the French editor who published the photo says, don't blame her. The couple was standing on a terrace that looks onto a public road where thousands of cars pass, she says. The question to ask is more about security than media frenzy. A court proceeding is set to take place in, Paris, in France on uh, Monday, and it's likely we'll learn the identity of who that photographer was who owns the rights to these images. Bianca. Rena, thank you. And ABC News Royals contributor Victoria Arbiter joins us now for more on this scandal. Great to have you here on set, thank Victoria. You. Needless to say, the palace moved so quickly to file this lawsuit. Does this speak to how angry they are right now? It really does. The palace moved at lightning speed, and that speaks volumes about William in particular and his desire to put an end to this and to send a very clear message, which his statement did. Also, we're now learning that this Italian magazine is planning to publish pictures later this week. So in a way, it's very good that William and Kate have moved so fast because hopefully they'll be in time to put a stop to this Do you latest. Think you're saying they, they, there's a chance that they will? There really is a chance because everything is in favor of William and Kate. They were at a private residence on a private holiday. They believe themselves to be sunbathing completely privately. Paparazzi were hiding in the bushes and, and the French have very strong privacy rules. So they have grounds to really put an end to this. And not to blame Kate at all, but given that she is probably the most photographed woman in the world and she has done no wrong so, since, since she's come to the public light, do you think that she was wise to walk outside bearing I, it all? I think really what happened has, has been a very harsh lesson and perhaps it was a little naive to think that as such a high profile couple they were entirely alone. Having said that, there is a reasonable expectation of privacy. They were staying at a family member's house. There was perhaps a false sense of security, but it's a lesson that's been learnt in probably the cruelest way. And talk about the damage control the palace is not taking right now, given that we just had this incident with Harry in, in, in here in the States and now we're seeing this happen. I think really there's a different approach to this because with Harry, yes, it was very stupid, but he knew that those photographs were being taken. With William and Kate, it is a total different breach of privacy. It's an invasion of their privacy. And so I think as opposed to damage control in terms of saving their reputation, they're sending a very clear message to say this will not be tolerated. Moving forward, we won't stand for it. There's something you said about Prince William standing up for his wife and defending her. Well, William really, he witnessed firsthand what overzealous photographers can do. You have only to look to his mother. And so, yes, he's very protective and, and he will take that stand moving forward. Victoria Arbor, great to have you on set with us. Thank, Thank you. you so much.